टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिलेनियम ट्रिकी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आस्ड इन 2024 फर्स्ट इज दैट हाउ डू यू मैनेज अ फ्रेम इन सिलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर यू कैन से व्हाट इज फ्रेम व्हाट हैपेंस दैट इफ यू वांट टू यू कैन से शो योर वेब वन वेब पेज विद इन अनदर वेब पेज और यू कैन से ए और इन शॉर्ट यू कैन से बाय डिफॉल्ट इन द ब्राउजर एट अ टाइम यू कैन शो or you you can say only one web page but if you want to show your multiple web pages in your browser you can split your browser into the multiple parts with the help of a element of html that is called frame and in every frame you can render different web page now there are three different ways to handle the iframe in selenium web drive first is that select iframe by id so for that purpose driver dot switch to frame you have to call the function and you have to pass the id of the frame second is that locate iframe by tag name driver dot switch to frame and then you have to you can say find a element okay by find the element by the tag name like i i am just finding driver dot find element by tag name iframe because iframe is the and, and then you will say get zero means the first iframe now same way you can locate iframe using the indexing also whenever you are going to create uh, you can say call it using the uh, using index you have to pass the index like zero for first and second frame one in the same way it will go now what is robot class in selenium the robot class is a actually java based utility that lets the tester automate things that can't be done using selenium built in method like you can say simulating keyboards and mouse interaction like you have you can say in, uh, in selenium we have already the have the action class right but if you want you can use the robot class also and it contains the method like key press the method presses the specific key key release it releases the specific key mouse move you can move your pointer to a specific coordinates mouse press you can press a mouse button you can release the mouse button mouse wheel if you want you can scroll the mouse wheel also so these are the few functions there is a long list for that but i have mentioned few functions here now what is the difference between get text and get attribute in selenium the get attribute where, with the help of get attribute you can uh, actually get the uh, return or uh, get the value of any attribute of your html tag and the example is that if you are going to pass get attribute and you are passing the attribute value so this method provides the value of a particular html right okay for example you can get the value of a text field okay so now get text method provides the visible text of a web element here okay so now you can say what is parameterization in selenium parameterization is the process of passing parameter to the test script for example we can use it for executing the same test multiple times with different parameters testng provides parameter support using the parameter tags in testng xml file you can watch the the video on my channel uh, testng what is testng advantages of testng in the details say now the third question is that what are the assertion in selenium what are the types you can say assertion determines whether a test case is behaving as expected by validating the automated test cases so testers can understand if the test have passed or failed so purpose of assertion is that you have to the tester can decide whether the scenario or case is passed or failed there are two type of assertion soft assertion and hard assertion if you want to uh, basically uh, by default people use the hard assertion if you want to understand from the soft assertion in the detail you can watch this video on my channel soft assertion in testng okay now another question is that how would you handle dynamic elements that change attributes or id on each page load now the answer is that for dynamic element we use the robust first thing is that you have to use the robust locators like xpath or css selector and it should be based on the stable attributes or parent element actually this will ensure a reliable way to locate elements even if id or attributes changes so this is the you can say first of all additionally what you can do you can implement the explicit wait also to ensure that if element is present before interacting using expected conditions we can wait for a specific element for that so we have different conditions to wait for a particular element like you can say it should be present it should be visible it can be clickable so with the help of explicit wait you can actually put this wait on your any specific elements on a specific on every specific conditions now the next question is that how do you perform drag and drop operation in selenium driver with the help of action drag and drop 
action uh, class contains a method drag and drop with the help of that we can automate it and if you want you can if you want you have some other way also and what is that you can call click and hold method on the source element then you can call move to element also on the target element and finally you can release the you can say release the mouse using the release function also so you can directly go with the drag and drop function which is available in the action class or you can uh, you use these three functions in the same sequence to simulate the drag and drop now how do you upload a file using selenium web driver okay so file upload in selenium is an automated process that can be done easily by using the send keys method okay so the thing is that in the upload we know that whenever you have a upload file uh, feature in your web application is uh, for that purpose developers use a field that is called input and the field is type equal to file type equal to file so you can do one thing you can simply write a locator for that for that particular element like i've created upload file and now you can uh, using that upload file you can call the send keys method on that and just pass the image and it will be automatically if you want, you can watch this thing also in my channel. I have created a specific video for that. How you would handle browser cookies using Selenium Web Driver? We can use below method provided by the web driver to handle cookies like add cookies, get cookies, and delete cookies. These methods allow setting, retrieving, and deleting cookies at needed during testing screen. So here I'm just covering the question and the answer in perspective of you can say interview. I'm not going uh, into very, very much depth. Okay, explain the concept of desired capabilities and how they are used in Selenium Web Driver. Desired capability is a class which is used to configure properties and settings for browser sessions in Selenium Web Driver. They allow you to specify various browser specific settings such as browser version, platform, and browser capabilities. So you can say this is particularly helpful when you need to run your test case on a specific browser configurations. Second, next. How would you deal with dynamic weight in Selenium test? Dynamic weights are essential for handling unpredictable uh, delays here. So we can use explicit weight with expected conditions to wait for a specific condition before processing. And this will ensure that the test waits only as long as necessary and avoid unnecessary long waits. Okay. Now, how you would handle a scenario where a JavaScript alert is raised during the execution? when alerts appears following steps you can follow like switch to it you can switch to the alert using the method driver dot switch to alert and after that you can call the accept method or dismiss method based on the requirement that you want to handle the alert depending on whether you need to accept or dismiss now how you can execute javascript code using selenium web driver we can use the execute script function which is available in the you can say interface that is called javascript executor okay and that is provided by the web driver this method allows you to run custom javascript code within the context of the current page and it is useful for scenario where direct manipulation of the dom is required you can say in the olden time if you want to scroll in my selenium then we can use this method but now you can say we have an inward method for that to scroll but we can use this uh, uh, method to execute any type of JavaScript in my Selenium. What are the limitations of Selenium Web Driver? Selenium Web Driver is a powerful tool, no doubt, but it can't automate non browser activities such as desktop application or mobile apps. Like you can say, that whenever uh, in your automation, any, any, uh, you can say, um, uh, for example, any browse window or open pop up coming to picture, you can't automate it because that is related to the your, you can say, windows. Uh, application right that is not a web pop-up additionally it may struggle with capture challenges due to their dynamic nature lastly browser updates or changes can sometimes break the compatibility of the test script necessary updates okay now what is the chromium dev tool protocol integration in selenium 4 and how does it enhance web testing capabilities chromium dev tool protocol integration is a significant enhancement into design selenium 4 that allows testers and developers to interact with the chrome dev 2 protocols directly from this selenium script okay this integration enables advanced debugging profiling and analysis of the web page during your automation so this is very useful thing if somebody want to debug it. now how you would perform parallel test instruction using selenium web driver oh yeah now you can see using a testing framework like test ng to configure parallel test execution, we can perform parallel testing here. These frameworks allow you to specify thread counts or annotations 
to run test current currently. Additionally, Selenium Grid you can also use uh, or you can say provides a built-in solution for parallel test engine across various browser and devices. How you can simulate browse mouse over actions using Selenium WebDriver? We can use the actions class and call the move to element method on the element to mouse over. This mimic a real user moving the mouse over cursor on element, triggering any associated over actions. What is the difference between the driver dot navigate to and driver dot get? This is a very good question uh, which is asked in mostly interview question. So you can say that both methods are used to navigate to a URL, but driver.get waits for the page to fully load it before proceeding. So it means whenever you're using driver.get method, it will wait that uh, the page will be fully loaded, then it will proceed. But in contrast, driver.navigate to navigates to the URL, but does not wait for the page to load completely. Explain the concept of fluent weight class in Selenium and how you would implement it. Fluent weight is an advanced version of a web driver weight, allowing custom polling intervals and ignoring a specific exception. It means uh, fluent weight is, you can say it is a specific type of web driver weight, or you can say explicit weight. And it uses, and the benefit is that in the uh, normal explicit weight or web driver weight, you can say you can't uh, set your custom polling interval means, means in which duration your condition is going to be checked. Second thing is that you cannot ignore the sum exception, but in the fluent rate, you have option that it allows custom polling intervals and ignore the specific exception. It's use, it is useful for handling scenarios where elements might appear disappear over time. Just create a fluent rate instance, set up as conditions and polling intervals, and then use it to wait for an expected conditions to be satisfied. And now the question 20 is that, how do you get all the options in a dropdown in Selenium? In Selenium, select class is used to handle the dropdown. So in the select class method, when you create object of a select class, then you can uh, call a method that, it, uh, that is called get options. And it, this method returns all the options in the dropdown in the Selenium. Now you can get all the options and whatever uh, things you want to perform on that, you can perform it. I hope you like all the Selenium tricky interview questions that are usually asked in the interviews, right? So if you still you have any doubt, you can put your doubt in the comment of this video. And if you like the video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.